This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools, quality tools, essential support. All right, guys, so we're heading to the next call here. It's the first AM. It's our sales guy. So we're going to see what's going on with this air conditioner. It uh, didn't work this morning. He got up and it was like 77 degrees in the house. He didn't have time to miss with it. He had calls he had to run to and said, hey, just come out and get it fixed. So, yeah, let's see what we got going on here. Ready? Let's go. That guy, you were complaining about the roof having water on it. Check out the sub pump. Mm -hmm. uh, we got problems, but but he said just give it a kick, which I gave it a kick, and uh, it's on. But you can see how high that thing is. So uh, chances are I'm probably just gonna take off because there's he's gonna just get a motor or something for it if he needs to. But. We're back over here at the uh, flooded basement. Go down here through the outside air and entryway here. Looks like they got some big old monster party going on. So let's go in here and see if we can figure out what's going on. He said the motor had some water in it. Yeah, we may be having some issues here. Technically it's four o'clock. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll see what we can do for you. Ugh. What a hot mess. No kidding. Can you believe somebody actually put it down here? I know, right? <laughs> Basically what we got going on here is they did not have the whole motor. So all they have is the end controller, uh, which, you know, yeah, it is, well, that's one of them things. Uh, the fuse was blown, which he ended up only having a five amp. So he put that in there. We'll switch that to a three when we get done. We're gonna run and see if this blower's any good. So let's go ahead and yank this thing out. See if we can get this thing out of here. Oh yeah, it's not, not a problem at all. No problems here at all. Nope. No issues here. Nope, nope, no problems. Nope. Let's move this out of the way. It's an old farmhouse, so I mean you're gonna have you're gonna have this kind of crap. Fantastic. So there's that. Yeah, loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah, I'd say it's probably got some problems. Basically it's whoosh, 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 threw it up in the air and got all over it. Probably not good. Not good at all. So there's your speeds. Let's see if this thing's a multi-tap piece of junk. Let's see here. Nope, it's actually communicating. Let's see if I got power to this turkey. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. So it must have the power off somewhere else. So we get that, that ouch, damn it, I felt that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've got power down here. For some reason, it doesn't seem like I'm getting it. There's there. But as far as high voltage, I'm not getting high voltage. There's secondary. You'd figure we'd have it right here on that, but I'm not getting it on that. So that must feed out of here. Should have L1 here. Yeah, I've got it there. So this thing's got, it's got more problems than what he originally thought because I'm not getting power to that, so I'm either. I don't know, this is good stuff. All right, so let's undo the, the jumper there. I'm loving it. Okay, it's dead. Let's get the... Let's see where we're 
is uh, he's picking up a board and a controller for the end of the motor, both. So let's see if we can figure out why we're not getting LEDs on the control board. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's go down here to R. Nothing there. Okay, let's go back here again. R to come in. Nothing there. Go across to our fuse, see if our fuse is blown. Not yet, that'd be quite better if it wasn't that one, but you know. I'd say this thing got screwed. And your secondary there, so here's your primary. Primary's coming in here on L1. Let's go to secondary, primary, secondary. Okay, here's the white one. White one and the black one. The black one's coming down here to L1. some reason I'm not getting it to to that at all okay we're going right power we got 126 volts so we got power up to there For some reason it doesn't seem like it wants to get over the transformer so you got this power conditioner here hopefully I have that that got underwater uh oh that ain't good not good if that got underwater then that's probably screwed up that's your filter to help keep the filter noise out and stuff yeah, you can see the water line it didn't really get into the board but it definitely got into that transformer that's not good next step is to see if we got voltage to the motor yeah it's that's definitely not good definitely not good so we're going there on white and black we ain't got squat just isolate this again and see if we got it coming in and out of here. Did they make it so you can bypass this thing fairly easy? Yes, they did. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can bypass this real easy. Okay, so we push that in. We unhooked one of the terminals there from Y L1 there. It went to chassis. When it was coming in, it came in. If we go like that right there, hit the button. I have nothing. It's usually connect on the back side of that board and it ain't happening bud not happening so I would say our board is probably Jack Roney let's go ahead and yank that screw and see what we get elementary my dear Watson elementary my dear Watson so yeah it blew the trace right off the back of it um, yeah the board's got a problem definitely definitely warranty I'm sure so it's definitely got a problem Yep, definitely the motor went bad and then blew the board up. That's definitely what probably happened. It's the exact order of events that'll probably happen for warranty. I'm about guaranteeing it. Just about guaranteeing it. So yeah, that board's jacked. Well, he's getting a new board for sure on this. And honestly, I'd probably just replace that, but whatever. I guess we'll let him make a decision on that. Kind of hard for me to I'll tell you what we could do. We'll go ahead and jump. L1 here over to the power to the motor and we'll see if we can make the motor run. Well, I don't have no 24 volts. He's get, we'll get the new board on there. We'll wait till he gets here. So he yanked it off. This has been technically unpowered for quite a while. They say at least five to 10 minutes. Pastors will stay charged. I mean, the way they got that thing laid in there with all that black crap to kind of keep it from ever being serviceable and the uh, MOV there not being completely burned out, it might be all right. But here's the thing, I'm not hooking this up to his new board and taking the board out. What we can do is we can check the resistance on the motor. Should be equal resistance on all three legs and nothing to ground. Let's do that real quick. So put her on some homage. There we go. So we're gonna go outside, outside, 11 point. Now oh, let's half it on there. Guess what, you're not gonna be able to see it. 
Okay, the no-no of all no-nos. Let me go from this any lead to the chassis. We had 12,000 ohms. I have arc proof type leads here and it's really hard to get this to go in there. There we go, you can see it. The motor's wet and I know they're in a rush to try to do this before they get the party started type deal. But here, use this junk field piece meter here. That's his. He used to be a installer before he became a sales guy. Yeah, there's 39, damn. I take that back, it's the shop's meter. <laughs> nice. So going back to the reliable fluke that actually works every time, let's go ahead and do that one more time here. May have to go grab different leads. So yeah, my leads are just, I mean, look, I got short little stubby tips on these on a purpose. All right, we're gonna go grab the Milwaukee blower and see if we can blow that out and dry it out, which is something we do. Yeah, look at it, it's all up in the, yeah, that's all up in the windings. Yeah, that's not good, dude. Hey, I wish you could've got the whole blower. Not good, not good. Okay, we blew it out for almost a good minute and something. Now let me go in here at one of the terminals and go to the ground. Look what we got. We got 9,000 ohms between that terminal and that. I'm not touching anything else. That's not good. Um, I can't say in good conscience, hey, go ahead and try it and see what happens, because I can tell you that's that's a short to ground. But uh, that thing screwed, and unfortunately they couldn't get the motor, so it's gonna be hot. He just went over an hour and something away to get that part. Local supply house, of course, didn't have it. They had it at their other branch. So go figure, right? Anyhow, yeah, well. Evidently, this must have happened before because he had another motor and controller. So I just popped the controller off of it. We have 4.9 ohms between each one of them, basically five on one, so he's off by 0.1. Nothing to ground. This goes up to, I think, 50,000 ohms, something like that. So uh, we might be able to use this motor with the other controller because, I mean, I'm assuming this controller must have been bad. He's got a whole box of stuff out there, which I don't trust that at all. That needs replaced. If it's been wet, if anything's been wet, it needs to be replaced. That's insurance rules. I'll wait till he gets here and we'll get the controller on, see what happens. All right, just uh, swapped the motor out. Had to take it out three times and see in the shaft on it and get it in place. We're gonna go ahead and throw the new module on here. Here's the new one. New control board. Yeah. I'll let him deal with the warranty crap. I'm not dealing with it. All right, so we got this piece finally in there and I'm just gonna wipe some crap out that we got those brackets, which are awesome to deal with. Got the filter out. Need to do the furnace off of All right. And then uh, let's see if we can make this thing run. I was going to run just the motor because like I said, the motor's the original one, but I didn't have any resistance issues. So we will just try this and see what happens. And uh, worst that can happen is it goes bloop, bloop. And somebody is hot this weekend. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll run it without the filter for a little bit. I would, let's let her lock the fan on and just go. Yep. Now should we, I guess, maybe leave this off for a little bit so there's not so much static on this and... Is, uh, is there that much crap in it? Yeah, it probably is a little bit damp. It's a little damp. I mean, let's just see if it runs first. We got the outdoor sensors there on. Let's see what happens here. There's lights. So all we need now is to see if it calls, which unless you turned it on, it's probably still dead. Give it a call and see what happens. Fan or you want no, just to go all in. Okay. Yeah, but it don't matter to it. Let's see if we can see the blower, see what it does when it takes off. See, it takes off that usual back and forth rocking stuff. Heard a click. There it goes. Look at that. It's running. 
It is running. Unfortunately, there's some water falling down from up above. Um, you got water coming down from up above. What do you want to do? It's probably from the ledge. Yes. It's running. Well, he's got it running, but we're got a little bit of water, so we've got to figure out what we want to do. How we, yeah, because I mean, it's up on top. I mean, it may not hurt nothing, but I don't want you to. Well, no. But I mean, you know. Well, it's been running now for about five minutes or so. Any water that was dripping from above came down, and we're good there on that. Uh, the heat pump is running. I can feel the heat coming on the liquid line. It's actually kind of warm, warm, warm. Uh, it just stepped up to the next high speed. We're, we're ready to, and that's sad. This thing's only two years old. Ugh. There you go, now you can kind of see it. Yeah, it's, did a number on it, that's for sure. Wow, it really ate it up good. It ate it up real good. There you go. I told him he needs to get a sensor for a sub pump to plug it into his alarm, and that way it'll trigger the alarm. Uh, they have a different input that you can use. It'll give a dee 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 dee. And that's what I got on mine. So if my sub pump fails, I get a notification and my keypad will beep. So yeah. Well, hopefully this heat works. I'm not gonna find out. Oh, my goodness, look at that. It's just, that ate that up, something fierce. Sheesh. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so there's some of the other parts. So there's the other parts. So yeah, there you go. All right, guys, so we're done for the day. It is 5.45, so who would want to go home on a uh, Wednesday, day before 4th of July, right? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That was a whole day of just miscellaneous things not a lot from start to finish some of it made it longer either way i've seen other people's videos and they just let, let the camera record and i try not to do that so hopefully you enjoyed it i may or may not edit the shit out of it but you know whatever let me uh tell this thing to take me home luckily it's only 15 minutes from my house so um yeah that was today lots of fun lots of fun so till next time later